car sharing, where you actually have uh, vehicles that you don't own, but you can uh, ask for on request. And in our pilot project, we've been been uh, doing, doing some research and testing on that, the pilot testing actually on the Eindhoven University campus to, to also research the added value of IoT for autonomous driving. So we are like uh, an autonomous taxi. So someone somewhere in the campus would uh, request uh, uh, a taxi and then uh, with cell phone and then uh, the car would uh, pick it up and uh, would respond to that uh, demand and uh, create a route and go to pick that house uh, that person up uh, autonomously in the way it because it also connects to the cloud it can also notice if it's in an area dense with people and uh, so it would reduce its speed uh, if it detects uh, there are so many people in the room. So in this concept of car sharing we have these autonomous driving vehicles level 4 that actually need to move from one side of the campus to the other side of the campus based on the demand of the car sharing service. So um, you can imagine that people bring those cars back to a certain hub and then on a, uh, a certain point of time a person wants to have a vehicle uh, available you want to have the reservation for that vehicle but you also want to have that vehicle in front of your doorstep so how the storyboard looks like is like this uh, you can uh, order such a car using your smartphone application uh, the uh, information is then streamed from the IoT platform towards the, the car the car will then um, calculate what is the best time and also the best route to, to take uh, based on the crowd estimation data. So we have several static sensors alongside uh, the roads of, of the university campus that can actually uh, measure the, the number of people and also the, also the flow of the people uh, going on the university campus. And the car actually calculates which one of the routes is actually the least traveled and that might then be the most safe solution to take actually for the autonomous driving vehicle. When the car then actually starts driving, we also put a functionality into the car actually that it also can still uh, warn any, any unaware uh, vulnerable road users. So we've developed an application, smartphone application, that can actually talk to the vehicle. And that application has been uh, built together with, uh, with Huawei on the Huawei IT platform to make sure that only uh, the people within a certain area of, of the car. Of course, then when the car actually uh, arrives at its end position, it will uh, give uh, the call to the, to the end user and the end user actually knows that the car is arrived. Levels for functionality. So we, we use uh, crowd estimation and also our lecture schedule to actually do a strategic uh, rerouting. We use uh, more on a tactical level, more on, on, okay, the car is driving now from one side of the campus to the other side of the campus where we actually use the motion planning and smartphone detection. And we have been working together with Vehicle Tech on getting actually uh, extra camera detection into the vehicle that are specific. So we have one vehicle standing here at the parking lot. We will have uh, the, re uh, the person we have here in the red spot here, you see actually where the crowd is. So if you look outside the window, you see some of my colleagues actually standing outside uh, blocking the road. So what we expect the car to do is actually calculate either this route or that route. And since the, the, one of the routes is being blocked, we expect the car to take this route, of course. And then at this position, we have in this demo, uh, one of our programmable road users is actually standing alongside the route. And what will happen is that you will see that the vehicle speed will go down from 10 km an hour to roughly 5 km an hour when he approaches uh, that person there and the person there will actually get a warning. So we see now that uh, the request was sent by indicating by a red dot. And that uh, in this case, uh, the car needs to be initiated. So what we see here in the rectangle is actually the geofencing uh, part that's been developed by Huawei. Uh, that's actually the, the, the area that is most important for the vehicle to, to take into account. You see it there that uh, the car is driving 10 km an hour. And when it hits here the rectangle, it starts slowing down to five kilometers an hour in the top right corner there. So you actually see that the car and, and the, the vulnerable road users now are aware of it, each other. 
<laughs> okay, so you see here also a live view of uh, within the car. This is actually live. This is actually the camera detection that is built, built into the car. So we have uh, pedestrian de de detection there. This is the part. So we're now waiting for a taxi request. So we're now driving slowly because there is a pedestrian over there okay. with a smartphone. The girl, uh, the girl with the green yeah. shirt. So it recognized her, so we are... That's a possible threat, but we're not completely halting. And the guy in the green shirt over there okay. he requested sent a request. Taxi. So now that we passed the... Uh, we increase the speed again. It's finished. And we're finished.